Hi, in this video I want to go over how do you solve systems of equations in the graphing calculator. There's a, a few different ways to do it, um, but uh, I'm going to show you two different ways to do it right here. Um, and that's using the linear solver and the matrix. So this is, I have no idea how to approach this by hand, okay? As a math teacher, I'm a fan of doing things by hand. But let's say I'm a student, I don't know how to do this by hand. So what you're going to want to do is use these equations exactly as they appear and use the linear solver. So how do you get the linear solver? That's menu 3-2 or menu algebra solve systems of linear equations. You tell it you have two equations. You, your variables are x and y. If you have a problem and it, your variables are like g and h, you can change the letters here to say g comma h. Okay? Um, and then type it in. Type in your equations exactly as they appear. Don't change anything. You have this equal sign button over here. If it's not an equal sign, you can hit control equals and you can pull up, um, you know, inequalities, not equals. Um, it, it's a really useful tool. So you type it in. Look, 10 comma 4 is my answer. Um, 10 is X, Y is 4. Now, what I have typed in right here is the matrix interpretation. Okay, so how do I do the matrix of this? Well, if it's typed in, you know, sometimes if it's a big equation, I like to do the matrix because it's a little bit quicker. So look, 2x, negative 4y equals 4. x minus 3y equals negative 2. Everything's in order. If everything's in order, you just need to type in R, R, E, F, hit the parenthesis button, click this button to the right of the 9, and then choose your matrix. This matrix is a 2 by 3. Press OK. And then I just type in these numbers, and it gives me the answer. See, 1x equals 10. That's what this is saying. 0x, in other words, on the bottom one, or 1y equals 4. So it tells you the same answer, just a little bit different form. Now, what do you do if it's O out of order like this? That's a good idea to use the linear solver, okay? Whether, you know, no matter how many equations you might have, if you just do not know what to do, you look at it and you freeze up, use the linear solver, type it in, here it is highlighted, I get negative 2, negative 2, okay? Just to that menu 3, 2. If you did the matrix for it and you didn't have it in order, look how different my answers are, okay? So what I'd have to do if I were using the matrix is I'd have to get things in order. Like I'd have to minus 3x to the other side, which is why I type in a negative 3. So you're just typing in the coefficients. I, don't, I kind of went over quickly on the matrix stuff. I do have another video over matrices just in, in this playlist um, that I go into more detail, but... You have your X column, your Y column, your Z column. So if your X is Y and Z, not Z, your total column, if they're all out of order, then you're going to get a, a different answer. But once you put them in order, you get the same answer. But this linear solver tool is, is real helpful because you can just increase the number of equations, increase the number of variables. Um, yeah, it's, it's really valuable.